Yeah, it got cold again. Can't say I'm surprised. Bethan, I dig the hair. Ellie, I dig the cat. I'm fluffy. Now, I don't own any pets. In fact, I've never owned any pets. I mean, the closest I got was my sister had a bunny once while she lived with us. But that was a long time ago. And I was pretty young. And the bunny pretty much stayed in the cage. I don't really feel like I've been deprived of anything. In fact, I feel like I've been spared the task of cleaning up after another creature. I mean, I've got plenty of time for that if and when I decide to pre-produce. When it comes to the cat versus dog debate, I have to say I am pro-cat. Dogs are just so clingy and needy and slobbery and loud and they jump all over you and just... Gah. Cats are just much more... dignified. I have, however, become accustomed to my boyfriend's dog, Moxie. She's a labradoodle and she's big and loud and messy and whiny and clingy. Why do I like her again? Oh right, her face is hilarious. Okay, so like most dogs, she doesn't understand English, but she tries really hard. She has the most active eyebrows I've ever seen on a dog. So when you say something to her, she tries to understand. She goes... She tilts her head to the side. And then, and then you tilt your head, and you kind of match her, and then she tilts it even further until she's just wiggling her eyebrows at you and tilting her head to the side, and just as if this will help bridge the gap of communication. I don't know. She may be on to something, but it's very entertaining to watch. Uh, and then I remember how she likes to lick my face when I'm sleeping. Now, as for the Hunger Games... I saw it on Saturday, and I have to say I approve. I mean... I was expecting them to get a lot more wrong, actually, so it was good to have lower expectations. I thought that Jennifer Lawrence actually acted really well. I've been really doubting her. I, w I didn't approve of her casting at all, but I think she acted really, really well as Katniss. She still isn't my visual image for the character, but I think it's much more important for her to embody the inside of the character, I guess, than to match whatever idea I came up with in my head. I really liked how they added the aspect of you seeing the games from the outside world as well, like seeing the news reports on it and seeing inside the game maker room. And I thought that, that it kind of portrayed what was going on in her head. Because in the book, she's thinking about, oh, I wonder how this would be construed back at home, or I wonder how they're reacting to me doing this right now. And you can't really show what she's thinking in the movie, so you have to actually show what's happening. So while it isn't a literal translation, I think it keeps much more to the core of the actual story. So there you go, Zoe's seal of approval. That was a seal of approval. I'm not sure. I tried. Alright, so Sonia, I will see you on Thursday, and you will all see me next week. Bye.